Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I've been using VMware Fusion Tech Preview since it was released and I've been running some Linux distributions on it to check what VMware Fusion has to offer as soon as they release an official version. I've also run some Geekbench 5 benchmark tests to compare both VMware Fusion and Parallels. We know that Parallels has been released uh, during this year so let's see what uh, both virtualization platforms have to offer. Before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to the channel in order to support it and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it. So first of all, let me show you the general settings that are available on a VMware Fusion Tech Preview. If you press here the general uh, button, you can see that we can make some notes, uh, see the general amount of uh, hard disk space being used. If you go to sharing, you can enable shared folders between the virtualization and the native operating system. You can also set your own profiles for the virtual machine. You can set the amount of CPU cores you will be using and the amount of RAM. Here on the display, you can check some uh, specifics on how it behaves with your monitor. In the network area, uh, I miss uh, one of the modes from a, a virtual box that would be the internal networking, but you have uh, the shared network. You can also use uh, Ethernet adapters directly. It's what we call the, the bridged mode, okay? And uh, you you need to uh, guarantee from the native operating system the access to these uh, uh, physical network. And uh, I would say the, the most common would be to share the network with your Mac OS while you are using virtualization on your, on your computer. You see that you have some bandwidth uh, limitation you can um, set for your uh, virtual machines. So there are some um, things you can do, but not that uh, uh, dynamic. Here you can set your hard drives for the virtual machine. You can also set the ISO files to install. Your sound settings are also available. I have plenty of audio devices here in my computer. Then the USB uh, normal and legacy modes, how to use devices uh, within the virtual machines. Here is the startup and the encryption. You can uh, set for your virtual machine files. Also the compatibility uh, mode that uh, might be uh, used. These are the compatibility uh, features that can be selected for different uh, VMware uh, products. Then uh, we see here, uh, in terms of isolation, if you can uh, set a drag and drop and uh, clipboards. And finally, in the advanced, you can uh, um, tweak some uh, uh, interesting settings like synchronizing the time between the host operating system and the virtualized operating system. And if you have a new device, you can enable it to use uh, within the virtual machine. And that's it. Now let's run Ubuntu. Okay, Ubuntu is now starting up. I have installed previously Ubuntu Server 21.10. There's one thing I would like to mention is that Ubuntu uh, Server is taking a lot more time to start comparing to Debian 11. Uh, rough numbers, 20 seconds for Ubuntu Server, 8 seconds for Debian. So I'm very impressed with Debian running on these virtual machines. So now, uh, I will log in into my account on this Ubuntu Server, on which I have installed all the graphical environment, so I could uh, run roughly the same uh, environment on both machines. Let me open my terminal and here I will need to get Geekbench 5 tool so I can run the tests 
on our virtual machine. I have uh, uh, bought uh, a personal license of Geekbench 5, so I can use it anywhere I, I want, anytime. And it's not a, an expensive tool, so for those who uh, often need to uh, test performance on operating systems, I think it's worth the money. Now, uh, this Geekbench 5 is a special version for ARM. And uh, as you can see, if I go to the main web page, I have access to the Linux version, but for uh, Intel uh, architecture. So uh, we need to use a specific link on the blog. Uh, here you can see that we have the preview uh, available for ARM processors. That's what I've uh, downloaded. Let's uh, go to the terminal, move the file to my uh, root folder because I'm using this account. And this uh, compressed file will be extracted so we can use the application uh, which is inside of the file. Okay, files have been extracted. I enter the, the folder and then I call the tool. Now let's fast forward so we can get into the results faster. Okay, we are done. Now we have a link here at the bottom of uh, the console that we need to use so we can uh, check the results in our browser. That's what we'll do right away. So I've copied the link. Let's go to Firefox, open a new tab and I pass the result here. So you can see we have 3947, okay? This is the result for Ubuntu running on VMware Fusion Tech Preview. Uh, you can compare these directly with uh, native operating systems running on uh, any processors you, you might have or know and uh, have an idea of how fast uh, these virtual machines perform if you need to implement um, a networking or a different uh, scenario with one or more virtualization. Now let's start Debian 11 so we can run the same Geekbench 5 benchmark tests. I told you that the startup boot is quite fast, as you can see. I'm already logging in in my graphical environment. And after that, I will do the same. I will get the application and run the tests. In this case, I have already made the download. I just need to get into the folder and run the app. I'll fast forward so we can get the result faster. And after that, we will go through the result to check how it performs on Debian 11, comparing it to Ubuntu 21.10. So let me copy the link and grab it so you can check on our Firefox browser for the results we just got. Let me tell you that this result can change, this uh, 4401. It's better than we what we got on Ubuntu, but if you run the, the very same uh, test uh, more than once you'll see it can change. We should never forget that this is a type 2 virtualization platform and that the amount of CPU load on your computer can change over time so repeat the tests more than once to check that the average number is around this one but can can change really uh, from test to test. Now let's move to parallels. Let me change here the number of CPU cores. I'll be running Debian. In this case, the Debian 10. It doesn't change too much, but it will be interesting to see how it performs when we run the Geek Bench 5 benchmark tests. So let's uh, let's do the same. Let me go straight to the folder where we have the Geek Bench 5 application. And from there, I'll start 
the test immediately. Geekbench 5 and here we go. So I'll fast forward also so we can get the result faster. And there we have it. So let's copy the link for this new result and check on our browser. I'll use also Firefox. And let's see, as you can see, 4329 for this Debian 10 on parallels. Now let's use also Ubuntu, in this case Ubuntu 2104, to run the very same test again and compare it. So we will have two distributions on parallels and also two on VMware Fusion Tech Preview. In this uh, distribution, I didn't have the tool already prepared, so I will show you here also. Let's go find the tool so we can download it. And here we have it. And let's make the copy so you can see also what has to be done before we can run the test. So I'm root. I'm moving the file I have just downloaded from my downloads folder. Here we have it. Now let's extract all the files. And after that we are ready. Okay, so folder, here is the app. And let's run it. So fast forward again, so we can reach the result faster. And here we have the result. Let's copy the result to our browser and check what we've got in uh, this uh, Ubuntu distribution on parallels. So I imagine at this time that some of you already forgot we are running ARM Linux virtualizations on an Apple M1. And here we have the result, 4213. It's a little bit uh, smaller but uh, similar to the other results. Let's move on again to VMware Fusion Tech Preview. And in this case, I will increase the amount of CPU cores for this virtualization to check how it performs, because we must never forget that our native, our host operating system also needs some CPU power to run properly. Okay, our Debian is already opening. Let's go straight to the test and run it so you can check how it performs. Now we are in the folder, let's run it and let me fast forward again so we can have the results faster. Okay, and here we have it. So let's copy the link once again and check the final result for these seven core virtualization with this Debian on VMware Fusion. Let me open Firefox so we can check the results. And we have 687, okay? Much better and closer to the speed of the native M1 processor, which is around 7600. So now we have the results. I've prepared a table for you so we can analyze these a little bit more. On the top, we have uh, three tests made on parallels. The Debian 10 with four cores. I made it offline so I would get the value here for you. 56 140 TD is a nice result and uh, the Debian uh, 10 with three cores with 4329 and uh, the last one Ubuntu 2104 with also three cores very similar result with 4213 on VMware uh, Fusion Tech Preview I made uh, four tests uh, the first one the highest Debian 11 with seven cores with uh, 687 
Debian uh, 11 with four cores with uh, 55, 185, with three cores with the final result of uh, 4401, and the last one, Ubuntu 2110, with also three cores with 3947. So what we see here between uh, Parallels and uh, VMware Fusion is that the results are very similar. Uh, like I mentioned, it really depends on each uh, Geekbench test uh, you make because um, each time you do it, you are sharing CPU processor with the native operating system. On the other hand, uh, I also have to say that uh, Parallels seems a more complete product at this point, but I liked a VMware Fusion. Uh, I think it will be a great product also. Uh, one thing that I like uh, more uh, with VMware is that you can really go up to uh, the maximum amount of CPU cores available. Uh, this function is not uh, present is not available on parallels. So, as a professional or paid product, I think I would choose VMware uh, because of this. I have shown on other videos that uh, we can run, for example, five uh, virtual machines at the same time if you have uh, RAM to do it. So, I think that this is a very capable processor for many many applications and both applications are very stable even the vmware fusion tech preview uh, which is not yet a final uh, public release so we expect very very a good application when he, when they release uh, the final version okay so that's it i hope you have enjoyed the video let me remind you once again to press like if you really did enjoy and subscribe to the channel in order to support it and press the bell button to get uh, those notifications about the videos I'll be releasing. Thanks once again. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.